If you know where to look, finding this pretty native orchid puts a nice finish on the late spring flowers. The scientific name means sandal of Aphrodite, and pink lady slippers, sometimes called moccasin flowers, really do seem elegant on the sun-dappled, greening floor of the woods. Here is where they thrive, near some living hemlock trees and the healing pits and mounds of generations past, these flowers have likely bloomed nearby for centuries. The two stemless leaves form the pretty base of an unusual three-parted or trimorous upside-down flower. Let's look at what it's visibly up to. A scape or long flower stem rises from the ground. A single green bract as an awning. A long forward sepal and two fused back sepals. Two balanced dark side petals frame a third pink petal which forms a pouch, labellum, or lip with the entrance slit in the front. A sterile, shield-like stamen that redirects exiting insects past the stigma and pollen. This is what flowers need pollinators to do, and the flower's shape encourages the process. Two fertile anthers with sticky pollen packets poised at the exit. An ovary, which will contain the huge number of tiny seeds. The orchids don't give their seeds enough in the way of resources to germinate. They instead require a fungi to help out. This sort of mutualism is common in plant communities. Every signal this flower sends, the color, the fragrance, the fullness, tells the pollinator that it has rewards of nectar and usable pollen. Even the varied and interesting patterned lines guide an insect in. But it's deceptive. There are no rewards, and the flower effectively traps an insect until it finds its way out. Not a good scheme if you're looking for it to visit more of your kind, which is what it's all about. Let's look at an encounter with a bee. Passing through the infolded slit, it's trapped in a pink chamber. Eventually it squeezes past the staminoid shield and the reproductive parts of the flower and exits with nothing for its time. It's no wonder the orchids are not very successful at getting visited and mostly propagate through their roots. In the end, deceptiveness just adds to its intrigue. Plants do strange things, and the orchids are a strange group. Worth finding, though, just where they like to be.